So I'm just sitting here minding my own business and I get ding! I'm sitting there like, whoa, what was that, man? It's the starting lineup for tomorrow. going on team twitter i hope you're all super well i'm introing the vlog from literally the same spot as yesterday but this time it's blue skies man so i was up in my room i saw it was all sunny and i was going to come to training just in my t-shirt luckily i'm wearing a jacket because it is freezing anyway i have crawley town under 23s training this morning and then depending on what happens with the house i may be moving in with the other australian guy from the squad but i'm not 100 percent sure yet i should find out over the next couple of hours what's happening there but yeah big session today. I need to make sure I'm focused. I need to make sure I'm putting 100% into this one because this is a session where if I perform well, it's going to increase my chances of being in that starting lineup for tomorrow's match against Brentford. Now, I still have no update whether it's the Brentford B team or whether it's the Brentford development squad. The Brentford B team is probably one of the best under 23 squad in the whole of the UK. So I'd absolutely love to verse them. It would be an amazing experience, be able to learn so much from these players who are obviously a lot higher up the levels. So I'm really hoping we get to verse them, but it's completely out of my control, man. Anyway, need to get this bus to training. For some reason, I'm the only person on this whole bus. This bus ride is about 11 minutes or so. Get to the ground half hour before training starts. That way I can do a little warm up myself, warm up my leg. It's still hurting, man. Which absolutely sucks, but my stop is next. So I better get going. That's me. That's also me. Run onto the field. Yo, 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 it's Ed Blackie here, it's Ed and Tweety here. <laughs> <laughs> the view. Yes, I. Oh, <laughs> cheeky. Bit of a cheeky dab. Yeah. 
Man, that was definitely one of my worst performances. Yesterday when we played the match, I thought I did very well and I think the difference between yesterday and today was the pitch. Now when I say that, I'm not trying to make an excuse. What I'm telling you guys is that my injury, the one that's behind my leg, the calf that I continue to go on about, it hurts when I put pressure on my toes. Now in a big pitch, that's not too bad because you continuously run, but on a small pitch like that where you're always changing direction, that put a lot of pressure on my leg. And so it made it worse a lot quicker and that overall just made me a lot slower with my decision making, my passing, everything just wasn't as good. So not the session I'd like going into the game tomorrow. But yeah, I felt about 80, 90% yesterday, especially in the first half and the beginning of the second half, I felt very good. The leg, I didn't even think about it too much at all. But when I was playing in that cage, the small area, the quick turns, that's what killed me. So man, I didn't even feel like 60% today. But man, I feel like I'm gonna be ready for tomorrow because it's a bigger field. It's not as much sharp turning, just poor. I don't wanna make excuses, but the fact is I was nowhere near 100% today. And that's just the reality. I would have loved to press more. I would have loved to make better decisions, but I just couldn't. It's a shame because you really wanna put more into the session, but physically can't. There were still a few things off camera that I don't think Vlad actually got where I made some nice passes. I still set up some goals. And yeah, so we'll see for tomorrow. It's supposed to be like three or four hour car trip, but I need to have lunch. I'll catch you guys later on. So I'm just sitting here minding my own business and I get ding. I'm sitting there like, whoa, what was that, man? Anyway, I look down at my phone, check it out. What's up, which I don't use. Under 23, Crawley Town FC. It's the starting lineup for tomorrow, okay? Okay, okay, I'm starting. I'm starting. Your boy is starting as a defensive midfielder. Look, I don't think I'm a defensive midfielder, but I love distributing the ball. And man, if I can learn another position, I'm more than happy to play there. I've said this before to you guys, if you're ever in a team, try and play as many positions as possible. Don't be annoyed because you're playing out of position. Be grateful that you get to play. Like ideally, I'd love to play attacking midfielder, but I can't because the coach has put me as a defensive midfielder, so I need to be on my A game for that. I am actually going to watch a bit of Kante and Tony Cruz because those are two defensive midfielders that I really look up to and the two that I only really know. And Tony Cruz is a little bit attacking. I'll, I'll suss it out, I'll see what they're doing, see what things I can implement into my game. But man, that's sick. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to get game footage for you guys. So this is the meal that you guys missed out on last night. We got sausages with carrots, peas, and mashed potato inside like a Yorkshire pudding, so not ideal. I love to have access to the facilities here, but I got the best thing I could really. A few carbs veggies, proteins. This is the sort of things you gotta deal with on the journey. I could have got something that was less healthy, but I really wanted veggies. So that's why I got this. Now for all you new viewers, this is a very, very, very honest series. Where if I think I'm not up to a level, I'm gonna tell you guys. If I think I'm way above a level, I'm gonna tell you. Now that may come across as arrogance, and I myself have a level of arrogance, but to get to the top, I feel like you need to. The two people I know that are very, very successful, but are also quite arrogant are Cristiano Ronaldo and Floyd Mayweather. And I said this in a hashtag ask Tweety, but I know some of you guys aren't part of the hashtag ask Tweety family. What I said in an episode was that Floyd Mayweather does a lot of self-talk. If you don't know what self-talk is and you have never seen him do it, go to YouTube right now, click the search bar, type in Floyd Mayweather self-talk, click the first one. Done? Okay, cool. So in that video, what you would have seen in that video is him telling himself that he's the greatest, he's the best, nobody's gonna beat him. And you know what? No one beats him. So if you're able to put yourself in that state of mind, that gives you a lot of confidence to go out and really perform at your best. I haven't done self-talk before myself. I think it's something that we should all look into. Team Tweety, go out, do some self-talk, let me know what it thinks. It depends on who you are as a person as well. But there's no harm in telling yourself that you're the best player in your team. You're the best dribbler, you're the best shooter. If that helps you get in a state of mind to be the best player for that day and help your team win, what's the problem? Now, of course, you don't wanna go around telling other people, I'm the best, I'm the best, I'm the best. That's not really how it works, especially 100 
hundred percent in a team sport because in a team sport you want to see everyone equal but as an individual player you need to get yourself in a state of mind where you're going to perform so i'm actually going to try that tonight leading up to the game tomorrow man it's going to be a big day i'm starting as a defensive midfielder i've watched a few clips from kante and tony cruz and there were a few little things that i picked up on but yeah man it's a new position for me even though it's just one switch from attacking midfield to the defensive midfield position it's still going to be a challenge but i love challenge man without challenge there's no room to learn there's no room to progress and that's the most important thing as a player it's going to be sick whether we play against the under 23s or the development squad it's going to be a great opportunity to play for Crawley and look if I do well you never know what the possibilities are there might be a Brentford scout there the Crawley Town under 23s coach might recommend me to the first team you just don't know the possibilities are endless all I can do is go out there be myself do the best that I can in order to give me those opportunities so anyway team Tweety I look forward to seeing you in tomorrow's video I'm signing out make sure you leave a like on the video subscribe if you're new around here join the journey I'll see you in tomorrow's video bye Listen. Listen.